Can a widow perform Hajj during her idda, the idda being the waiting period? Before I answer the question, in Islam, widows are a remarkable category of people. To be in the service of a widow is to have your entire life in the embrace of divine mercy. In one tradition that has come down to us, the person who is in the service of a widow is like the one who fasts the entire day and prays the entire night. Now to answer the question, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what does it mean to worship Allah? True worship or the essence of worship is not in the bodily acts themselves. It is in conforming to the command itself. The prostration before Adam السلام, was worship of Allah himself because it was by way of his divine command. And in the case of the widow, the divine command in Surat Al-Baqarah is that she will wait for four months and ten days at her home which her husband has provided for her or if she is pregnant until she gives birth, even if that is within three days of her husband's passing. Most importantly, she should treat the performance of the Hajj as a serious obstacle in the way of the divine command of fulfilling the Idda. It's true that the Hajj is also a divine command and a right of Allah, but when two rights of Allah encounter each other, so to say, whereby fulfilling one will impede on the other, we submit the moment to the decree of that moment. And in the case of the widow, it is fulfilling the idda, which is four months and ten days at her home, which her husband provided for her, and if she is pregnant, until she gives birth. In the case of her husband passing away during the Hajj or at a point where she has already started her travel and she is considered a traveller and to go back will be physically and financially unfeasible for her. For example, if she has already reached Jidda, um, Hajj packages usually have their own terms and conditions and flights are pre-booked. In this case, she is to continue her Hajj and she will resume her idda as soon as she returns back home. And she may continue her hajj as best sh as she is able to in her current state, and then she is to resume her idda once she returns home. Bearing in mind the fara'id, the obligatory rites of hajj, are only the tawaf al ziyara and the wuquf of Arafah and of course the state of Ihram. But we need to be aware that this is not the normative case and due to exceptional circumstances which the Sharia considers, she will be able to continue her Hajj and resume her Idda once she returns home. In short, the obligation of performing the Idda, which is four months and ten days, or if she is pregnant until she gives birth, takes priority in this case. Follow us and subscribe now on all things Hajj and Umrah.